Josh here. So we're gonna talk about cold showers. Uh, we're gonna do a cold shower challenge for 40 days. We're starting on the new moon, July 20th, 2020. And cold showers are extremely beneficial for your nervous system, cardiovascular system, muscular system, lymphatic system, all the systems, respiratory system, uh, blood circulation. It keeps your skin looking young and bright. Uh, gives you energy, releases endorphins. It's just, the benefits of cold showers are beyond, beyond, beyond. Okay, so we'd like to start a challenge um, to see if you can do it for 40 days in a row. And after 40 days, you should be able to continue it through. And I like to give this teaching in the summertime because it's a little bit more digestible for people to kind of take it in. So, it's the Northeast right now and it's very hot. So it's a good time to kind of start this teaching. So here we go. So you're gonna, this is how we take a cold shower, okay? And I'd like you to stand up and do this with me so that you have the experience so that when you get in a cold shower yourself, you already know. Okay, so before you, you know, you, you first thing in the morning, you wake up in the morning, um, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna do your cold shower. At night, you can do your warm shower. You can do your soap, shampoo, shave your legs, whatever you wanna do in, you know, the shower. You can do that kind of stuff at night. But in the morning, as soon as you wake up, you want to do the dry, get a dry brush, do the dry brushing, the whole, all of the skin and circular motion dry brushing towards the heart. Okay, all parts of the body, dry brush, the whole body, dry brush, dry brush, dry brush, circular motion towards the heart. Then you want to take an oil, any kind of oil, almonds oil, whatever oil you feel comfortable with, and rub that over your entire body, massage that into the entire body. The oil, the dry brush obviously gets the circulation going, starts to remove toxins. The oil is going to create a barrier between uh, the skin and the cold water and plus it keeps the skin very supple and smooth and nice and saturated okay so now you're gonna get in the cold shower right cold shower is going you can do whatever you want to do if you need to steam up the bathroom if you need to you know put the heat on in the bathroom do whatever you're gonna do but cold water goes on the first time that your skin touches the water the, that water should be cold, okay? We're not ending any cold showers, any warm showers with a cold shower. This is strictly hydrotherapy. It's called Ishnan, the science of hydrotherapy, all right? So come, up, uh, come on up and stand, okay? So cold water's coming at me right here, right? I'm in my shower. I've done my dry brushing. I've done my oil. Cold water is coming at me, right? Okay, I'm a little bit away from the shower. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let my feet touch the water first, okay? So I dip my feet, do that a couple times. I let the feet touch the water. Then I get my hands in there, okay? Now I'm massaging my hands, I'm rubbing my hands, I'm massaging my wrists. You wanna mass under the cold water, I'm massaging the elbows, the forearms, okay? You wanna get up here, up here, okay? Then I turn around, everything's under the cold water. I step away, I turn around, okay? And now the bottom of my feet are gonna massage my calves. So the cold water is now touching the bottom of my foot and my calf and I'm massaging. Then I switch and I do the opposite side, okay? And the whole time I'm breathing deeply or I'm chanting mantra out loud, whatever works for you. Okay, then I turn around and I spread my legs wide. Okay, and now the cold water is hitting me here. Okay, so here for your thighs, you don't want the cold water to pound on your thighs. So you can either wear shorts or you like the way my shower is, I can spread my legs wide and just let the cold water kind of hit this area. It doesn't pound on my thighs. But you can take fists and you go one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, okay? Now I'm gonna start massaging my belly and I'm gonna massage my chest, my breasts, under the armpits heavily, okay? Ladies, you wanna get under the armpits and the breasts very heavily massage, massage, cold water's hitting, okay? Chest to pound, you can pound here, okay? You wanna massage the throat, 
cold water, let the water hit the face. I turn around and I get the spine and I move my spine a little bit, do a little flexing, okay? And then I let it hit my face again, okay? So now it's pounding on my face, I'm massaging my face. Okay, I do my arms again, I do my belly, my chest, my elbows, my breast area again, my belly. Okay, I do this a couple more times. I turn around, I do my spine and my feet again. Okay, so you, you, you're moving like this, okay? So you're getting all the parts of the body are getting cold. You do not want to get your genitals, no pounding of the cold water on the genitals, no pounding of the cold water on the top of the head. You can get your hair wet if that makes you feel comfortable. Just don't let the cold water pound on the top of the head, the genitals, or the thighs, okay? So figure that out however your shower is designed or whatever, try to figure that out. Again, this is hydrotherapy. It has nothing to do with getting your soap or your shampoo or the shaving, any kind of situation like that. You're waking up in the morning to do this situation so that you can get a flush of the system, right? All of the organs are gonna get flushed. The capillaries are gonna open up. Every, you're, everything is just gonna kind of get this huge amount of oxygen and energy. The endorphins are gonna be released. You're gonna get out of the cold shower and you're gonna feel like nice and tingly and warm and super good and delicious and you might wanna get back in. I do that all the time. I take my cold shower, I do my whole situation, I get out and I'm like, that felt really good, I'm gonna go back in. And I go back in for like another minute or something. Um, but it depends on the day. Okay, so ladies, if you're on the menstrual cycle, no. You are not gonna do a cold shower. Do not go near the cold water. You can go to lukewarm or you can go to warm, okay? But on the menstrual days, do not take a cold shower. You're, it's way too sensitive, the system, to do that, okay? If you're pregnant and you've never done cold showers before, just don't do it, okay? Let's not start this while you're pregnant. Um, and yeah, it, it's again, too sensitive, okay? Um, in, yeah. So if you are pregnant and you wanna start it, contact me and we can talk about this. But um, if you're pregnant, don't do it. If you're on the menstrual cycle, take those few days as a rest. You can go to lukewarm or warm and then start up again when it's over. But it's just too sensitive to do that. Um, yeah, so a three minute cold shower equals 30 minutes of yoga. That's how much energy you're moving. That's how much oxygen's getting you know, moved around. Um, that's how much energy you're creating. So three minute cold shower is what I am suggesting, suggesting here. If you can do that, if not, no big deal. If you wanna try to just kind of stick the hands in and stick the feet in and call it a day and maybe tomorrow, you know, you, you get the forearms in and maybe the calves in, that's totally cool, right? Go easy with yourself, okay? But. I will say the benefits, like I listed in the beginning of the video, are for real. And you know, I've helped so many people over the years with just this teaching alone. Okay, and maybe some of them will start commenting on this video about it. But we had, uh, we we've had people, and you always follow the doctor's orders. You always whatever the doctor tells you to do and you're under a doctor's care, you do what the doctor says. But we've had doctors reduce people's medicines. We've had doctors take away people's medicines because they've been doing so good. It's helped with um, blood pressure, uh, things like this, and they've gotten off of certain medicines. It's helped depressed people get off of certain medicines. Um, we've, we've had uh, you know people who could barely walk, uh, help with this um, just by taking a cold shower. We've had people who have, um, you know, constantly always been cold in, in their body, even in the dead of summer, just cold. They start the cold showers and they're not cold anymore. Even in the dead of winter, they don't get cold because it helps with the circulation. So uh, Lyme's disease, it's helped uh, a lot of people with, it's been known to help with that as well. I've had people do cold showers every single day who have Lyme disease and it helps tremendously with that. Um, yeah, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Fertility, I mean, I, I have nervous system stuff, headaches, 
uh, constant headaches, uh, uh, you know, uh, can't sleep at night, cold showers. So let's try it. Let's see what we can do. And um, let's see what happens at the end of 40 days. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Okay, much love y'all. Mm -hmm. Sat mom.